Hello everyone, and welcome to my first time reviewing something. And today we're gonna review the two episodes Impression of Pokemon Journeys. Yes, believe it or not, Ax actually and his journey. I mean, they actually let him retire for once. I'm not sure how long, but I'm gonna take it. So yeah, now we have a new era starting from Geo. But, yeah, I'm not gonna dwell too much, They're, this is gonna be impression of the first two episodes, so let's kinda go. One thing that I'm gonna try to do with this review, if I manage to do, is that I'm gonna keep some kind of a counter, but I cannot say it's gonna be exact science. I'm gonna keep count of how many times we see Kanto, Paldea, and the rest. You can see that only by episode 1, Kanto has 5 points to say by then. And because mostly the setting is in Kanto, can we stop doing this with Kanto? I'm getting tired of Kanto. That was the major issue with Johnny. Kanto, not Gala. We meet our new protagonist, Rico, who is gonna come later on. Rico is a really different from S. A little shy, doesn't want to go out herself, but up to see how she is gonna go. And She's from Valdia, but she really came to Kanto because of her parents' recommendation. Like, what kind of stress is that to actually get her from Paldia to Kanto? She still get a starter from Paldia, and that's kind of the weird part of this episode, the school setup. It was kind of odd and weird in journeys, like, okay, there's a school for children, but they still can start their journeys, and still continue to do school. What's this? I mean, based on the, what we know, she's gonna travel all around the world with the Captain Pikachu. So what was the idea with the school? Almost in pointless. So we have the setup with Rico. Roy doesn't appear this episode in the next one. Although I feel he's kind of involved to say of the year She gets her starter, Spigatito, although they say the dif name different because I was the sub, not the dub. That's gonna be a long way. And yeah, she's trying to bunny with the cat and try to do school. And I'm not sure how long passed, but they're all in some kind of break and some go home, some stay at school and I really don't know what to make of this school setup. It almost feels pointless. If you change the setup to her home from Paldia and I don't know, her parents leave and she starts her journey on loan, it's gonna be the same thing because while she studied there for I don't know how long, the two group, the good one and the bad one, looking for her. Of course, the bad guy kind of try to disguise themselves as some kind of people that come from her grandpa, and that's the whole thing. But the main boss to say of the bad guys has a letter for her from her grandpa. And during the all that scene, she doesn't try to look the letter, not even looking a bit to see if it's her handwriting or something. I mean, is her grandpa dead or something? I don't know. She literally make assumption and she started a chase of how to say action to say because she ran her off the window and the bad guys try to chase her down. And then the other group save her. Of course the captain, the human can has a charge and a Pikachu, another point for Kanto. They're starting a fight and um, I think I want to say about this episode and next one is that they have that Pokemon movie feel. You know, that one when you can see Pokemon in the background doing some kind of tax and yeah, and the LC really emphasize that. Of course, oh yeah, I forgot about one tiny detail. She, the, we can have an off character called Kurumi. I'm not sure if I say it, but that is kind of YouTuber with a Quasli, if I say that. Yeah, the part there is is gonna appear in this song. And Initially, I want to say that Kurumi is even the medic of the group or the grandpa because I can kind of see Pokemon do that kind of twist. But no, I think Roy is under the Kurumi disguise. Maybe. It's up to see. I have some notes, so I'm gonna try to look over. Oh, the Rotoms really become like the third mask of the series. That'd be Pikachu, second being Eevee, and third being Rotom because literally everyone has a Rotom that works as a phone, tablet, and who knows what else? Oh yeah, I'm not sure if I go the place, but yeah, the fight is interrupted and 
the captain says her when she tried to get over, but something happens and the shield ends the episode. Okay, so let's go to episode 2. In episode 2, the shield is away from something, a new Pokemon. People are always speaking that is the pre-evolution of the turtle or some kind of Pokemon that's related to it, but again, this is set up. We're gonna get our answer maybe later on. Although, question being, how long is it gonna take? And of course, the captain say her, and the next episode is full action to say. They reach the airship that, I must say, there is really cool, and again, that feel of Pokemon movie vibe. And we meet the rest of the crew more properly. And yeah, they are now try to escape the chaser, to say, that are called explorers, if I remember right. They are trying to chase up. Eventually, they break the bay of the gym, because the LC have a gym, and I must say, the technology of Pokemon is really something high up, because we have a scene where the explorer, the bad guys, are dressed up, nice to say, normal to say, in a suit, and then they switch up to their team, evil team suits. And then the gym has some kind of bail. I mean, I didn't see any bail when they try to land. I guess this is the Pokemon technology. Of course, they'll try to fight off. Initially, they fight the captain with the Pikachu. And then, oh, no, right? Liko tries to fight for her own. And they chase the bad time away, but they kidnap the cat. And yeah, this is gonna go for the next episode. Although, I can only see this song may fell into the same pitfalls the journey has. The point is that this is supposed to be like journeys, drive all around the world, and we know journeys how they did that. Most of the time they were stuck at Kanto. But here we have Elsie. Why Liko still gonna do school, but why? And this is again the other day here with the school setup. Why have it in the first place? Of course, in this episode, I'm not, so, I'm, I'm not gonna review each episode each. I'm gonna review the in bands. This is gonna be the, the first impression. I'm gonna review episode 3 to 10, and I'm gonna review even every 10 episodes. Although, yes, Johnny's, how to say, wasn't the best, but wasn't the worst. It's like, literally, was, it's really in the middle. Yes, he has the great moment, but in the same time, the worst moment's decisions ever. I'm curious how long it's gonna go, like, will Liko has other Pokemon, the, the character is gonna evolve, will Roy actually have a role in this? Yes, I know that Roy has that Pokeball, but I try to look the positive, but in the same time, we saw the patterns. Most of the time it's gonna be good, but we know that something's gonna go wrong. I want this to be good, I not sure how long they're gonna keep up, but I have to see, hope you enjoy this, and yeah, follow me to see the next part when, you know, episode 10 is gonna come out, and hope you enjoy this, and yeah, see you in the next video. Aloha!